Hello everybody and welcome to our Safari Zoo episode 9 this is I think. Yes, episode 9. Face cam is back. Yeah, there, here, me. Uh, yeah. And last time we made rhinos and terror birds I believe. Let's go check them out. Ooh, it's a bit laggy. I'm rendering at the same time so oh god I didn't want to get in that. So it might be a bit laggy and I might need to wait till I actually do anything. But yes, we made this terror bird enclosure here which can also also be seen from up here awesomely be seen that's that's not a word it's not a word but yeah terror birds here there's there's food and everything they do not have a zookeeper uh yeah they don't have a zookeeper not the same. <laughs> i just realized i've not been putting zookeepers anywhere or gates for zookeepers but hey oh no there's a zookeeper there but hey it doesn't matter you you can work there too you get assigned to this only you get no, you get assigned to this. You dude here, keep a lover. Buh, buh, buh. Some uh, some terror bird needs more space because I'm got himself stuck up here again. Not good terror bird. Not good. Warthogs have given birth. Lion has given birth. Oh, we've got lots of babies in our zoo here. Where's oh, there he is. Look at it. Oh, two of them. Ah, oh, so cute. Hey there, lions. Hello there. Hmm. Okay, I'm back. There was just a little thing of a bob and I didn't need to say that. Anywho, we're here. Now, the only part of our zoo is left is this bit here. Oh, no, that's the back of the toilets. This bit. Right now, people can just see sort of hills here. And if you go up the hill up here, there should be, yep, there's the desert here. Desert area. And that's about it. But, we had a plan for this, didn't we? Well, I did. I did have a plan. I haven't really told you about it yet. But I'm not... I don't know. I, I'm not too sure which one I actually want to do. So I'm going to look at this and then decide. So I'm going to say you guys get to pick. But then I won't say that because I'm going to pick this episode. Because I need to do something this episode. So, options. The options are Hot Desert... There's not a lot of animals there, so probably the other option, which is tropical rainforest, is going to be in this area here. It's a, it's a big area, though, but there are lots of tropical rainforest, including T-Rexes. We, we are not doing dinosaurs, though. That's, that's, that, is that a different thing? Well, okay. What I think I'm going to do is going to make this one big enclosure as well. Or one of those things where the car ride goes through and then the people the people go from one enclosure to another. Can we just put it there? Yeah, and then the car ride can go through this way and past this river here. Past here. We're going to need to definitely somehow get rid of that hill or something because that will not work very well for our cars. Oh god, nope, that was misplaced. Do unmisplace it. There we go, unmisplaced it. Actually, you need to be unmisplaced as well. There we go. Yay, Jeep transport is now complete. We're gonna... What are we gonna do here? Hmm, let me think. What sort of fence? I want something that kind of blocks the sight from people. Just because, you know, they don't need to see the awesomeness that is the jungle area behind here. Unless they go into it. Because this is going to be a very special area. It's not going to have dinosaurs. Nope. Nope. Just said that. It's not going to have dinosaurs. Um, so. Actually, why are we only... Let's make this... Let's make this really tall. Really tall wall. Yeah. <laughs> there, there is that bit with the gate that they could look into, but we're just gonna gonna ignore that for now. So there's only gonna be one way in, and we're actually gonna need to make the ramp sort of thing. So there we go, we've got that. We might actually do this as well, just around the corner here, so you know, people from outside the zoo don't just get to look in if they if they jump or something. There we go, perfect. It's a nice and high wall that we have here. Now we need to we need to fix up this hill because this hill 
It's sort of cool, but you know, the, the car is going over it and it can't go up the steep cliffs on either side of this hill. So that is um, not really good. We're going to keep most of it. Just this part of this needs to be leveled out so that the car can go over it easily. So we're going to level out a bit more because I know that the yellow is kind of, kind of meant to say things, but sometimes it still doesn't work. I hope this will be fine. I do also need to get rid of rid of the water. Oh wait, I need to just go here. Tropical rainforest. Now, the way this the thing with doing this tropical rainforest thing is because you know there there there's not much not many more savanna animals, none that we really want anymore. And you know the the savanna it does sort of end up bordering to the to the to the tropical rainforest. So if you if if you look at a map of Africa, there is obviously the the, the um, Sahara Desert, and then south of that is a bit of savanna, and then there is uh, mainly rainforest near the equator. That's that's how it works. And then south of that is more savanna. Yeah, sure. I'm not just making this up right now. Um, yeah, whatever. We can you, you, we could look at the the thingy. There's, there's a sort of suit tycoon pedia, isn't there? If I look at things... Yeah, so you can see here the tropical rainforest can be shown there. And if you go in tropical savanna... Come on, tropical savanna. If you click on this, it's it's sort of that. Sort of north of the rainforest, you see. And it's a bit south of it too. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we want. So, we're going to have a look at uh, how we're going to... We're going to split this up, what animals go into here, and that kind of cool stuff. Now this tropical rainforest might be a bit dangerous for the people, so we might need to have a mostly sort of blocked off thing. And maybe if we just make it... Okay, we're going to make it touch up like this, but go down a bit, because the wall, the glass wall doesn't need to be that high, but still... Not too low either because, you know, animals can climb trees and get in, which is not really what we want. We'll do it four high. There we go. We'll do that around this track. The only thing I, I, I really, like, I would really like, and I don't think there's a way to do it, is to have a sort of bridge like this, but for the animals. That is not a thing. Oh, that's not a thing that's possible, I think. So I don't know. Okay, so I do, we can try this, but I really doubt it will work. And there's none of them that really like. Unless instead of a a car a car path, you know, we make. Actually, that might be a better idea. So uh, if I, yeah, if I get rid of this this car path here, that's a bit silly. We don't want to obstruct the their their actual like not cage, but their you know the the the, 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 the enclosure. Because cages are bad things, enclosures are good things, right? Yeah, sure. Sure, that's how it works. Um, so we're going to get rid of all this. So we leveled the hill for no apparent reason whatsoever. And then we can do... Now should we just do an elevated path? I think we might do that instead of one, one of these mon track things, whatever they're called. I think an elevated path is, is probably a good idea. So if you make it go all the way... Oh, that's a really long way up, isn't it? If we go from... From here... Up to there. <laughs> um, then we obviously need to get rid of this. So how... How high are we above? Is that... That's quite high. Do we, we probably don't need to go this high. If we... Go at the bottom of this... It sucks that you can't jump over the things. That is probably quite high, and we don't want it to be as high as the wall because, you know, then people can eat, look over and it kind of kills the illusion a bit. But if we do this, do this, let's see, how does that, oh god. Yeah, they, they can, if they jump, they could kind of look over it and they can obviously look this backwards, but here, it's just that. Cool. I think that's pretty cool. And then we can have like multiple tracks that go along, one that goes like, I don't know, we don't want to have just a straight path along here. We'll have you go this way and, okay, what if I make, I'm going to make it go straight to this hill 
and see what I can do. Or we could just not use the hill. There'll probably be a bit of cutting here and stuff. Because, you know, this is a lot of me trying to get these bloody things to work. Okay, we also will not do any diagonal ones so that we don't get that issue with the... What? That's a different one now? God damn it. Actually, we'll change that so it actually has its stands because that will look much better. Well, much more realistic. Okay, then we go this one. Go along here. Why can't... Oh, God. Terrain. Okay, let's make you a bit bigger. There we go. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, I'm just going to cut to when I started this. So, you, you guys are not going to see my, my big hassle with all this stuff. Because, bloody hell, that was annoying. Just going to ignore that mountain. Well, we're not going to ignore it. We're going to put animals on here. But we're going to smoothen it out and then do cool stuff with it. But the way it is right now, it's just not cool. Okay, there we go. We're gonna... No, you you were messing with it, so that's not good. That's an alright hill now, I think. So we've got that bit. We can push this path, go up to here. Then it can go over the hill instead of, you know, onto the hill. Then from here you can go back down. Actually, you need to go over by one first. Then you can go back down. Hopefully that's the right bit. No, nope. not quite right. Um, that, that, there we go. Okay, and then we can have individual platforms that go up from here. And one from here. And on the, these ones can be a bit bigger. Is that... That should be alright. Or you just could completely mess up again. God damn it. These elevated paths are a nuisance. Okay, okay, I don't I don't care. Okay, no no of none of these silly ones because they mess up everything. None of the sort of curved bits. There, this can be a platform that obviously needs to extend by one more here, so there we go. That's a thing, right? Yeah, that works. And we'll do the similar thing thing here. Oh god, that one's too far. One too far. There we go. Um there, 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 there. Ah, oh, finally. That this can go one bigger. There we go. And then we need something that sort of goes over here. This will be one bit with a path like that, but that'll be it. Actually, can we now remove parts of it? Oh, we could do that. Yeah, that works. Now remove these parts. It's all nice and fine and dandy. Cool. Wow. That is one big elevated path. Okay, this needs to go here. Need a smaller one to block. No, normal sized one to block off this. Bet you this is going to block off the path. No, nope, it's not. Cool. It actually worked. Oh yeah, what well, one more bit we need as well is from... Oh god, cool. The zoo is one year old. One in-game year anyway. Get rid of this and this. From here we can go downwards. 
Yay. You can hook up to that. Don't know why I'm suddenly using this path, but I am. Because that's how I roll. <laughs> roll. Anywho. Um, this is going to go here. My god, I've already been recording for 19 minutes, but most of this hopefully be cut out. There we go. Oh, this one. Is this one going to be a pain? No, it's not. Hooray for not being a pain. I like when things are not a pain. Oh my god. Lion. Oh. Jesus Christ, it's a horde of lions. Oh my god, with the with. Put animal up for adoption. Put animal up for adoption. Put you 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 up for adoption. You. And you. There we go. God dang it. Well, if you're really thirsty, why don't you go drink something? Jesus, silly, silly, silly animals. <laughs> okay. Tropical rainforest. Uh, we can have all these cool little things like black leopards and pygmy hippopotamus and chimpanzees. But let's 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 try just make a nice little uh sort of rainforesty landscape and then see if people can still actually see things. Because I'm planning to make this like forest a lot very foresty. A lot foresty, yes. Because you know it's meant to be tropical rainforest. See if I this part here People can still store, sort of see down, so that that is quite good, I think. But then I also want to put ferns all over the place, because you know, whenever you think of think of a rainforest, you see ferns and sort of plants everywhere on the ground, right? At least that's what I think. So I'm gonna put all these things all over the floor, everywhere. Obviously, I'm just starting with this one corner here, but this will be expanded to everywhere else, everywhere in the enclosure anyway not everywhere else in the zoo yay for ferns and flowers and cool colorful s lots of life stuff obviously we'll need some spaces that have not so many trees because the animals always complain about things this is this is actually where chimpanzees can live cool so they can live like right in between the trees and there there, we'll just put it all over the place. And then we will have a few normal enclosure buildings. Actually, no, instead of that, we'll just have caves. The caves look a bit more, you know, suitable. And then we can have this sort of rock thing. There. I don't know if any other animals like it, but we'll hope so. So we can kind of get them sleep wherever they need to. A big boulder. Boulder. Not boulder. Sort of overgrown with these plants. Ah, oh, that looks quite cool. I think. Look at this. It's kind of floating from there. Um, but you know, no, I want to be on, on, on here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I quite like that. Okay, more and more jungly trees. Some extinct trees. Some sort of fern trees. This side can definitely be f sort of fully, fully treed, because don't really think anything's gonna be there. This can definitely be some of these palm trees, some of these ferny palm trees, ferny palm trees. Okay, so that's that bit. Oh my god, I I just actually put ferns on the path. Go away, fern. Go away, fern. And also, go away that tree. Okay, then uh, we need to put food around for these. Put food around the place. I don't know how, how well this enclosure is actually going to work out, but it does look pretty cool, so I think that's good. What sort of other animals are we going to have in here, by the way? We can have dodos. and Oh, the dodos can live on the hill. Yeah, that's a good idea. So what sort of shelter do you need? You can have this. 
then you can have a sort of cave thing down here. I don't even know if you could go into there. Oh, and then this can be used by whatever likes it. And then up here, there'll be a few trees. But the dodos will live ho hopefully outside of the trees in that hill bit. Hillbilly bit. Hillbilly bit. Yeah, cool. I like this. I do. I'm, I'm liking this. What do you guys think of this enclosure? I, I quite like it. I quite like where this is heading. There we go. Um, a dodo rock. Okay, you can get dodo rocks if you like. You can get these things. Wow, these are the dodos do not like tar pits. That's something new. Oh, the dodo rocks are flo flying about through the enclosure. I just realized water is something important that we. I kind of forgot to add all over the place over here, so I'm going to do that. I'm sure this enclosure will cause a lot of messages of, ah, I can't reach this. So I think we're going to add in some chimpanzees for now. And so that they don't breed over, we're just going to give them six females. Yeah, screw it. And one male. There. Oh yeah, we also need to give them toys and stuff we're good we're gonna forest this area as well everything everything here but for now it's just gonna stick like that just, just so we can place all the stuff we need to place so otherwise we'll have nowhere to place things and stuff dromedary camel one is now pregnant cool cool for the dromedary camel I can draw there. Dodos we can add as well. We've added everything the dodos want. So dodos we can add a few here. I know I didn't. Uh, I said no, no dinosaurs, and dodos are not dinosaurs, but they are extinct. But still, I've added them. That doesn't really make sense, but I, I did anyway. Mandrills are something we can add. Oh, tap here is definitely. The baits tap here. We'll add. We'll definitely add that one. They also like to live in these, which is great. And then we can add a few more rocks in this corner and some trees. Oh, Thompson Gazelle is in the water and can't swim. God damn it, Thompson Gazelle. Need to make sure not to block the sight of everything. Because otherwise people will walk across the thing and like, I can't see shit. And they'll complain and say how, how, how bad the zoo is and then, yeah. Just go cry and no one will come visit with the zoo and that'd be really sad because this zoo is awesome and people should come visit it okie dokie so this can be the tapir zone that needs a scratching post and some food will there be six is really thirsty and drink something there's water in your bloody thing okay tapir one two three Four. Five. Yeah, why not? How does this look so far? It's obviously not done yet, but I think that could be the end of the episode and we can finish off this soon, next episode. I think. That'd be cool, right? Ooh. Oh, look at that. I, I quite like this area here. It's got trees in some places, not trees in some other places. There might, maybe there should be some bigger trees on this side. Oh, this is cool. There's no animals to see right now. There's the there's the chimpanzees here. So they're right. They're, they're seeable because they sit by this mostly. Hope they some of them go through here if they can. I don't know if they actually can. There's some of them here in this area. There definitely needs to be some more foliage as well anyway. Even if you don't add too many trees. Ah, oh, the tapirs are there. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Um... Some bigger trees could... Bigger trees. You're a bigger tree. Could you go, like, in the back against the wall? Just to give it the sort of, you know, there's more jungle feel. Because that's always good. Yeah, just put you right in between these trees. That's all good. Yeah, so, yeah, that's good. 
some other different trees in front of them and next to them and smaller trees and ferns and whatnot. There we go. Okay, can we can we land on the platform? Can we land on it? No, we missed slightly. Land on it. Perfect. So we've not done a lot to this area, so you can't really see. But here, yeah, that looks so much better. Look at that. That's quite good. That's quite much better. Chimpanzees are there and happy. No. Nope. Okay. Some lion is trying to reach the carcass of another lion. Oh, <laughs> this might not be good. Mm. We'll just ignore that fact for now. <laughs> There's that big cave with nothing in it. And the dodos are falling down the hill. Might need to smoothen it up a bit so that the dodos actually can get back up. Because I don't think they can right now. So we'll smooth this bit for them. And smooth this bit for them as well. There we go. Now the dodos should be fine and land on the platform. Nope. Land on the platform. What? Went right through it. I'll, I'm literally going right through the platform now. What the hell? There we go. Okay, dodos, dodos, dodos. All the lions are trying to reach the carcasses of other lions. It's not good. Yeah, dodos. Cool. And we'll finish off this zoo with that, mostly this enclosure and some other bits and pieces next episode. And then we'll move on to a different kind of zoo. So, I've got a slight idea, but you can give wishes or comments, uh, or guesses, I mean, in the comment section. So that'd be cool. Please like the video and the next episode will be up soon. Goodbye.